friends, how are ya? Welcome back to this week's vlog. I'm excited. I did something kind of spontaneous. Brooke is out of town this weekend for a tournament, so I might have booked a room at my all-time favorite hotel chain called the Hoxton because they were having a super sale, a really good sale. And I figured if I'm gonna just be locking myself in a room all weekend, I might as well lock myself in a really beautiful room all weekend. So yeah, I booked a hotel room alone with Max. They're dog friendly, they allow dogs for free. And so I am currently packing up to head on to downtown LA and stay there for the night. They also offer something called flexi time to where I can check in early today and check out late tomorrow. So it's almost like I have two days there which is awesome. It's gonna be a fun vlog. Just wanting to go sit, relax, and work in a new environment alone <laughs> and maybe order some room service. I don't know, it's gonna be great though. Looking forward to it, so let's go. We made it, we made it to our home for the next 28 hours and it's so freaking cute. I'll do a little room tour, but look at one thing they gave Max. They gave him a toy, it's like a giraffe rope. I'm gonna give it to him in a second, but I wanna get it on camera. They also gave me this pack that has clean wipes and hand sanitizer, which is much appreciated. And there is room service for every meal. So that's probably what I'll be doing, but a little room tour. I haven't even seen it all yet. Oh, this is me. This is called the Cozy. It's only 250 square feet. It's adorable, Max, what do you think? Super cute rug, super cute headboard, everything so minimalistic and cute. Look at this. What's in here, coffee and tea? Yep, look at this little, look it's so cute. Um, I assume one of these is the bathroom, probably. Why are there two doors? Let's see, Max. Oh wow, that whole thing is just a shower. Wow, that's crazy. Is there a light? I don't know how to turn on, oh, okay, the light did go on. Okay, so that whole thing is a shower. And what's in this one, Max? And this whole thing is a super cute bathroom. Max, you kind of blend into the floor. Kind of blend in, dude. Hello. Wow, this is so fun. They are bringing up food bowls for Max any second now. A little spot to work, which is what I'll be doing in watching TV, which is also what I will be doing. And a view of downtown LA and none of its glory. Oh, Max, you're in the bathroom. <laughs> Come on out, dude. <laughs> Max, do you want to see your toy? Let's see what you think. Sit. Here you go, bud. It's a toy for you. Are you so excited? Are you so excited? You're so cute, bud. Oh. Are you want to play? I love this herringbone floor, too. Max, how do you think we best get matches, huh? Maybe call it, or do we just go grab it from the downstairs? Look who just arrived. A little plush bed for Max. Ooh, that's like Tempur-Pedic, dude, that's nice. And matching bowls. Are you so happy? After Max calms down and feels comfortable in here, I'm probably gonna go hunt down a matcha. And I also just wanna peek at the rooftop. They have it open to hotel guests only, as long as you maintain all of the safety standards, which I might go lay in the sun tomorrow, which would be really, really nice, but I just want to peek at it today because it closes at three and it's already one. My plan is when it calms down to go look at that and grab a matcha and come back and work for a while and order Postmates for dinner. I'm living it up. The only thing I'm nervous about is staying downtown, taking Max out to pee after it gets dark. So we'll have to figure that out once we get there. I took him on a couple long walks already today just to get him like worn out and you know, good to go for the day. I'm so excited just to be out of the house. <laughs> I love staying in hotels so much. It's my favorite thing in nice hotels. I should specify. It makes me so excited. If I had, like if it made financial sense to live out of hotels, I would highly consider it. Cause this is all you need. He's sleeping halfway under the bed. So I think he's calm enough for me to go downstairs to grab a matcha. Get my stuff, get my mask, get my shoes. Oh, I should plug in my computer. That would be good. Not gonna lie, I totally forgot I was vlogging until I was walking back up with my matcha. My mom wanted to see a picture of the pool, so I took a picture on my phone of the pool. I'll put it here. It's very, very small, and there are two people already out there, which is pretty much the maximum because you have to stay on opposite ends of it. So I didn't actually go out there, but I took pictures from the inside through the glass, and I took a picture of the lobby too that I'll put here as well. But 
Let's see, I saw they have Oatly. This looks like a really strong ice matcha. So let's give it a taste together. Whoa, it's a little strong, it's a little strong. I'll be hyped after that though. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, wait, story time. I have something crazy to tell y'all. So last week, I'm taking off my shoes. Last week, there was something that happened. Max just keeps going under the bed because it's like really high under the bed for him. So there was something that happened during one of the Dodgers games that, long story short, if you don't follow the Dodgers, which I only do because of Brooke. How do I make this long story short? So the Astros cheated for the World Series in 2017 when they played against the Dodgers, and that has been proven. So the Dodgers hate the Astros, which is funny because I'm from Houston and I grew up going to Astros games. Um, but there's a big a rivalry and an out of tension between them, and one of the pitchers threw a fastball, not very kindly, at one of the Astros batters near his head, and then basically cursed him out and walked away like this. And they got a picture of him doing that in the moment and both the teams got out of their dugouts and almost got in a fist fight in the middle of the game. Brooke had found a super duper like high quality picture of Joe Kelly turning around going, and he was like, hey, could you draw this? And I was like, yeah, I could draw this. So I sent it to him. He sent it to his boss. They ended up turning it into a t-shirt within like 20 minutes and it blew up. Dodgers players were talking about it. This was my drawing. ESPN tweeted it on their Twitter with 2 million followers. CBS News did an article about it. Like all these places did articles about it and they sold 1500 shirts the first night, which is crazy. Apparently, since it's my art, they're giving me a 50% revenue split, which is huge. So if everything works out and goes through, we're gonna put that unexpected money into a separate account and we're gonna use it to take a trip whenever things open back up again. We wanna do a trip where we go, what's the order? Brooke has already like planned it out. Ireland, Norway, Denmark, London, and then home. So I would love that. Obviously if we wanna do Norway and stuff, we probably have to go in the summer, which means probably summer of 2021, go in a year. If things are even open by then, but Brooke thinks we won't be able to travel till 2022, which is kind of a bummer. But that was like crazy that that had happened and it's so unexpected. And um, no one on my husband's company staff can like really draw. They can do some graphic design, but it's a very different style. So his boss told me from now on, like any other shirts I make, he'll split revenue with me too. So I'm told Brooke, I'm like, send me all the pictures. I will draw them. Who knew my new hobby would be so lucrative? Which is so funny. So I'm actually about to redraw it because they took it down. They posted it on Teespring originally and let the, like the first day, let the 1500 sell. And now they're realizing that they wanna go like a more professional route. So they actually have halted the sale of that shirt. And I'm going to redraw the exact same picture in like basically three times the pixelation. So it's gonna be really high quality and they can blow it up really big. And that way they can do like a wider array of sizing on different types of shirts and just like do it really, really well, which is exciting. So that's one thing on my to-do list today is basically redraw that picture for them. Uh, no pressure. I drew it in like 15 minutes because I thought it was just for Brooke. And now that I know what it's actually for, I started trying to draw it and it looked so bad because I was like trying too hard, which I didn't know that was a thing. So that's my story time for today as to how I accidentally got a new job. <laughs> This always happens to me. I always get into situations where I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I have another job now. But with it being as lucrative as 1,500 shirts in 24 hours, then heck yeah, I'm gonna say yes to that. Max, where are you? I'm actually gonna put on comfier clothes. Might as well. Uh, he made it up on the bed. Now he's so happy. Yay, okay, I'm gonna draw this pic now. So precious. Yeah. I am redrawing this slowly but surely. All right, here's my updated version of this at a much, much higher pixelation. Like you can really zoom in before it starts to pixelate. So this can be printed really large and have no problem at all. And Max has been perfect and cute and sleeping the whole time right here. Okay, I love HGTV, but I'm really not a fan of Flip or Flop and it plays all the time or House Hunters actually. And those are the two that play the most frequently. I feel like Flip or Flop feels so scripted. Did you hear someone outside? He just said, I went, <laughs> and I don't like it when it feels scripted. I at least want you to trick me that it's real. Even if it's not, just trick me. <laughs> just an update. The room service for dinner tonight doesn't have a lot of gluten-free options because they have a really limited menu. So I'm gonna do a room service for breakfast and I emailed them asking how to redeem my food credit. So I'm hoping they'll just 
email me back because I always feel awkward and guilty asking questions over the phone or in person. I don't know why. I just hate being a burden on anyone. So, low key, I ordered multiple tacos, chips and guac, and a huge plate of rice and beans. And after delivery and tip, it was $27, which for LA is so good. I ordered a side of rice and beans because I Googled to make sure that dogs can have. I know dogs can have rice, but I've never given Max beans and they can. And I feel like he should be pampered too. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of rice and beans with his food. But he is a treat to look forward to as well. And they're actually gonna be here in like 40 minutes, which is perfect because I will meet them outside and I can take out Max when it's time for me to meet them outside. This might be a really boring and long explanation. I don't know why <laughs> I'm explaining all this to you, but I got through all of my emails and I have a lot of other things I should do or could do, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself which has been a new thing I'm trying and it's been huge. I've been getting enough work done, but putting less pressure on myself. So I'm actually way less stressed and I end up getting the same amount done anyways, but it's coming from a spot of me excited to do work instead of feeling like I need to do work, which has just been like a huge change and a very good mental shift. Waiting for our Postmates. Oh, we got it. Max is definitely not made to be a city dog. I think Max would be the happiest Oh, that made you thirsty. I think Max would be the happiest in like a small town with very little action. Well, I don't know about the happiest, but definitely the calmest because every car that went by, he like freaked out a little. Every like desensitized pigeon that there was, I think he thinks that his reflection is another dog. Every desensitized pigeon that there was, he would run after and of course they would just like saunter off because they, they live downtown. And there were so many other dogs that he wanted to, to touch. <laughs> this bed's a little high for him. <laughs> I'll let you on the bed in just a second. Let me get the food figured out. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so anyways, we got the food. I will, I'll show you, I'll show you what we got and I'll figure out a way to, <laughs> to feed. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I'm so impressed, good boy. Oh man, okay. Y'all, I'm so bummed. They accidentally messed up and gave me flour tortillas when I not only denoted corn, but also denoted that I have a gluten allergy. So you'd think that they would look at that a little close. It's a bummer. I don't know what to do. I mean, I guess I can have chips and guac and rice and beans for dinner, but that's not very healthy. Neither are tacos, but that at least this was, these are the best tacos in the world. They, um, ha they're full of incredibly good mushrooms. So very full of veggies and very flavorful and I'm so sad. I guess I'll eat this and not all of it. That's just that's just not healthy to have no protein or veggies. But I guess I can order something else from somewhere else. I don't I don't know. I don't know, Max. What do you think? What do you think? We'll start we'll start here. We're in an amazing hotel. And if that's the worst thing that happens to me, then I have a dream life. So, you want some rice and beans? A little bit? They refunded me. Well, they refunded me $5, which was basically one taco, but I just went ahead and ordered them again. It's like I'm having my appetizer. And later, I'm having my dinner <laughs> in an hour. This is really good. Chips and guac, so good. I just realized before anybody corrects me, obviously there is still protein in what I'm eating. I just meant like large sums of protein. Did you know when you mix rice and beans together, you're actually getting all 18 essential amino acids at the same time, making it a complete protein? It's not high in protein, but it is a complete protein. There's my nutrition fact of the day for you. All right, y'all, <laughs> Max is trying to chop up and get I don't know why that's so funny. Moment of truth. Let's see if we got it right or not. Max, you went up? You're gonna try to eat my tacos though if you're up here with me. I'm eating in bed because I'm at a hotel and I can't. Oh, yeah, those are corn, baby. That's what's up. Okay, Max, you can come up here if you promise not to eat my tacos off my lap. I don't fully trust you. Let's see if it's worth the wait. Worth all the hype that I hyped y'all up about and worth two Postmates order delivery fees. Here we go. Mm. Mm. It's so good. It's so flavorful. If you're ever in LA and you don't live here, or if you do live here and you don't know about it, you have to go to Low Key, spelled L O Q U I, get their mushroom tacos. Their chicken ones are really good too, but my favorite is their mushroom. And apparently they're known for their flour tortillas. I couldn't tell you, but people go in there and they order like just a dozen tortillas and take it home. It's so good. It's so flavorful. 
I added a lot of their hot sauce on it. I don't know what it is. It's like a very Chipotle-y hot sauce and it's really spicy, but it's so good. And I used to live walking distance from the original one. There's two now. There's one in the Arts District downtown and there's one in Culver City. And I used to live by the original one and I would probably go like four times a week because it was the cheapest meal you can get in LA. One taco would fill me up and that would be 450. Literally cheaper than In-N-Out and it's such, such high quality food. So good. One other thing that I'm so excited about. So the t-shirt money, like we said, most of that's gonna go towards our, our travel fund to hopefully travel one day. But there's two things that we've really wanted that I'm gonna finally splurge on. One of them is finally a new vlog cam. This one is almost three years old. Falling apart has the worst audio. Like so many things are going wrong with it. And so I wanna get the Canon G7X Mark III. This is the Mark II so I can have an external mic and just like the newer version of it. So I'm really excited to order that. And then we are gonna look for a new rug in our bedroom that is thick so that it doesn't, ours right now, since it's a rug on top of carpet, like bunches and it like divots and it's so frustrating and it's like Brooke's biggest pet peeve. So we wanna try to find a really you itchy dude, a really thick rug that won't buckle. Um, so if you know of any brands that aren't super expensive, like under $500 for an eight by 10 rug, because I know rugs can be thousands and thousands of dollars, I would like to stay under 300, but realistically under 500. Please let me know so I can look into those. Thank you, I love you. Good morning from Max and I. <laughs> it's 7.30 and so he has to go out. So I figured while I take him out, on the way back up, I'm gonna get coffee in the lobby and then order room service. Bada bing, bada boom. It's so much harder now to reach you. Your heart is floating in. Did you see the latte art they made me? Did you see it? He was inspired by you. If you missed the clip, I also took a picture that I'll put here. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I'm gonna call room service, I guess. I mean, it's 2020, I could just call them on my cell phone, right? I don't have to use, look at the phone they have in here. I'm out of breath from that. Oh, room service 150. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Maxie ordered so much food, but she was totally understandable. I also asked if I could order a side of dog-friendly eggs. She was like, yes, we will cook them well done. We won't add salt. We'll make them dog-friendly. We got you. And I was like, I love you guys. They, this is the kindest hotel. Like, everybody wants to be your best friend. It's so sweet. I love them. I should pause the TV. Oh my gosh. Max embarrassed me so much. Lay down. Good boy. We're gonna be calm. We're gonna be calm. The guy came to bring the food and normally they do door delivery, but apparently since I ordered it a different way, I had to sign off on it. So I had to open the door for him and Max does a thing when he sees someone new, he wraps his arms around the person's leg and just, we call it jump hug, like hugs them. And I was trying to sign the thing so I didn't have an extra hand and I was like profusely apologizing. But what do we have here? Side of herbs, I don't know what that is. Oh, I wonder if this is Max's eggs or my eggs, we'll find out. Oh my. <laughs> Gosh, I ordered a side of bacon, but this is like a whole packet of bacon cooked up. Side of avocado with gluten-free toast. Oh, you know, I think that this was supposed to be the bone broth, but they might've forgot to put the broth in it. It's okay. I did want to try it, but it's okay. These are my eggs. These are a little more runny. Mmm, eggs. I will give you some. Hey, 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 hey. He's trying to eat the food. Oh, okay, that makes me feel better about the bacon. There's also potatoes in there. I thought that whole thing was bacon and I was like, I'm gonna feel so nauseous after eating that much. Okay, beautiful. I I, I have had bad luck with my orders, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, those potatoes are good. Oh my gosh. Getting ready for the pool and this is gonna be so much floral together, but oh well. Are you gonna be okay? My plan is I'm gonna go without Max and feel it out. And either I feel like he shouldn't be up there, then I'm only gonna go for not that long and then come back and hang out with him. Or if I feel like it's safe, then I'll come back and I'll grab him. Any other people or dogs around and he kind of freaks out. Plus I don't know if dogs are actually allowed on the roof. I did see one on the roof, but maybe she was breaking a rule, so. But maybe I'll just go for a little bit. It's also only 9 a.m., but I wanna go down there as early as possible because it's Saturday and there's way less of a chance that other people will be there. Sweet, guys. There's nobody out here. That is amazing. 
and this side of downtown is way prettier than the other side of downtown it's a little bit of a view which is super nice there's something on this chair over here but i wonder if i could claim the one in the sun or not <laughs> so i am the only person out here but there's no spot to like tie max's leash so i think i'm just gonna stay here for 30 45 minutes then go back and check on him i don't want to get in trouble for accidentally having him up here and i would i would be so embarrassed if he pooped or something out here because it's outside so he wouldn't know any different <laughs> an hour so I came back and he did so good also someone else went out to the pool and I was like yeah I'm gonna even though we were 30 feet apart I was like I'm gonna be safe and I'm gonna socially distance and go back to my room I accidentally laid on my dress though without realizing it. oops <laughs> I'm so excited I just ordered my new vlog set up so it's gonna get here by month it's gonna get here in two days I forgot to pack a brush and I just realized how tangled my hair is oh um, so that means this is the last low quality vlog that you will ever have to watch on my channel. It's going uphill from here. Ugh, I love this camera. Served me good for uh, three years now and it's very compact and a lot of memories to it and I've had to pay to get it fixed multiple times, but its lifetime is now coming to an end and it will be my backup camera if anything else happens to my new camera. I'm so excited. Good stuff. It is officially noon and I'm thinking I'm going to, I put back on my pajamas, but I think I'm going to get dressed and kind of clean up the room a little bit and then take Max out on a walk and to get matcha. And there's a little like outdoor patio near the coffee shop here at the hotel so I could sit out there with him and enjoy my matcha. So I'm thinking that's the game plan for now. I still have four more hours till I have to check out, which is incredible. I love flexi time. I sound like an ad. I'm just so excited to basically get two days for the price of one. It's such a good weekend. I am so dumb. They did not forget my broth. So I went to go steam my jumpsuit because there's a steamer over here. And then I noticed that there was this random coffee cup here. And I was like, what is that, hot water? And I opened it and it was the broth. And then I remembered when Max was trying to hug the guy, I freaked out and like set everything that I could down to like go and grab Max. And I didn't even realize that one of the things he handed me was a coffee cup that was full of broth. So I hope it's okay that it's been sitting out for a couple hours, but I just heated it back up and put it in the bowl. And since it was so expensive, I'm gonna try it. Like, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. I feel like you can't, well, you probably can get sick off bone broth. My face is out of the frame. <laughs> just come down here with y'all. Oh, this smells like chicken, huh? I don't know if it's beef bone or chicken bone or what, but I can tell you probably want some. <laughs> That's very different than the bone broth I get from the store. It's very salty very salty but good like very flavorful bone broth has a ton of benefits too super good for gut health and joints yeah i could see why they charge seven dollars for that <laughs> let's hope i don't get food poisoning oh my gosh guys so i took max out first we go on a pretty long walk see long enough for him to be perched and he goes potty multiple times and then he seemed good i was like all right we're good to go let's go get a matcha we start walking back through the lobby we have to walk by, I think it was like a manager meeting based off the way everyone was dressed, but it was a lot of the staff from here sitting at a big table having a meeting and we were walking by it and Max just stops and squats and poops so much. And they all just look at me like, and I was like, I am so sorry. I just took him on a walk and I don't know. I was, and they were like, it happens. It's fine. It's fine. It was so embarrassing. And then I was holding this bag of poop. And I was like, where do I throw this away? I can't throw it away anywhere. I can't leave it in my room because like my room will smell like poop. So I had to take him back out after this was done and go walk around again to try to find an outdoor trash can somewhere to throw it away in. And so at that point I was like, I'm taking my matcha up to my room. I'm so embarrassed. And the patio I wanted to sit on had another dog and I knew that Max would freak out. Guys, I'm serious. How do moms of children do it? I was so calm, cool, and collected all the time like thought through everything very very uh confident and now whenever i take him anywhere i'm so frazzled and so easily embarrassed and i can only imagine what having a child would feel like oh 
But on the bright side, today's matcha looks like a very nice color. Still strong, but maybe not as strong as yesterday. Mmm, that's a good strong matcha. Still strong, not as strong. Okay, I guess I'm gonna enjoy it here and leisurely get packed up, maybe head home a little bit early. I thought of a lot of little chores I wanna do around the house today, so now I'm like, hmm, maybe I should go get on those. But not too soon. We made it home safe and sound. First weekend as a loner with Max. Learned a lot, but it was a lot of fun. Since I'm home, I'm gonna tidy up, unpack, and get a little bit of work done. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Maybe even start editing the vlog tonight. TBD. But I love y'all so much. My face is so greasy. I hope you have the best rest of your day, and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.